finished up your first tournament of the season. Just sort of uh, what was what did the team learn about itself out there in Utah? Um, I just think we learned that we um, need to play together and come out and attack, I think, especially with our hitters just come out and um, kind of just go after it, especially in defense too, especially pitching. Um, so I'm, I think we learned we can uh, play together. You've got to get used to a new catcher this year. How, how's it going with, with uh, Hannah Akamini behind the plate? Um, she's doing great. We love, uh, I think all the pitchers, we love um, her catching us. So she's doing an awesome job. Ellen threw a no-hitter, of course. Uh, um, I realize the competition out there wasn't SEC caliber, but a no-hitter is a no-hitter. Were, were you proud of your sister? Oh, yeah, for sure. A no-hitter in college softball is a big deal in it either way, but it was awesome to see her do that. You guys put up a lot of runs. Was that was that nice to see to start the season? Oh, yeah, for sure. To see them um, come out there and just kind of blow them away was really, really sweet. A little cold out there. You're headed to Tampa next. You ready to go south? A little bit warmer mm -hmm. temperatures, you hope? Yes, for sure, absolutely. Um, warmer weather is always a good thing when softball. Does a pitcher prefer warmer weather, or do you have any preference? Would you much rather be in warmer climate? Yeah, warmer for sure. Better to grip the ball, and your hands aren't cold. You can't. You don't have to throw them out or anything. So yeah. Yeah, I saw Ralph coaching third. It looked like he was wearing gloves. I mean, you guys are having to be out there without. <laughs> I know, yeah. Was it that cold out there? Yeah, it was pretty cold. Especially the wind blew a lot, and that made it um, really cold. So yeah. <laughs> and then Erin, how did she do in her first uh, collegiate she did debut? Really well. Really well. I'm proud of her, and she's doing an awesome job. Also with Cheyenne, she she had a pretty nice start. Mm -hmm. What do you think about just watching those two go at it this weekend? Love it. Um, me and Ellen, we love having you know other pitchers pitch too. It gives us a break, and we we love having them. With, with us. that's kind of a little bit different than what you guys have been at least last season with kind of a four pitcher rotation or the possibility to throw yeah. four different people. Is that taking adjustment or? Um, I mean. In a good, like it's an advantage okay. for us in a good way because you don't get worn down, you get to rest for a game or so, and I, we really enjoy it. You guys had a pretty nice win over BYU, who won close to 20 games, or if not 20 exactly mm -hmm. last season. To get a win against a quality opponent, when you guys head into SEC play, you hit the ground running against Alabama, and then it doesn't yeah. stop from there. To get a win like that, is that a confidence booster going forward or how to use that and take that as you go forward? Yeah, for sure. Um, beating BYU was a, was definitely a good thing because they're a good team, like you said. So it was definitely, you know, a booster of our confidence. How comfortable do you feel in this condition at this point? Because you've kind of been doing it for a little bit. And... Yeah, um, you know, I feel good. I think that um, as a team we're, you know, right where we want to be and just um, continuing playing one game at a time during the season. Because I know you can get um, overloaded with, you know, winning the World Series and all that stuff, but one game at a time, for sure. Do you feel like you get kind of like in the same, I don't know, in, in like a rut where you're like doing the same things over and over again? Like, do you have to do stuff to keep yourself pumped? Oh, like uh, motivation-wise, yeah. I guess. Um, I mean, you can, I guess, in a, a little bit. But I think for us, especially this season, we're really – um, looking for the national championship at the very end of the road. And I know it's far away, but um, it goes by fast. So, yeah, you, the motivation, I think, is there. Okay. Raven, um, she has power. I know she leads off and has a lot of speed, but her power was limited last year because of the shoulder injury. She flashed that power again this, this past weekend, didn't she? Yeah, for sure. I don't know. I think it was a green slam, wasn't it? Um, but, yeah, that was awesome to see her. And some other girls, too, that usually – don't show power also has some home runs. So that was nice to see them. Is that was that just the field or is this team does this team have the potential to hit that well? I think they definitely have the potential to hit that well. They're really good hitters because we face them all the time in practice. So yeah, they're definitely, definitely good. <laughs> when you go in the circle then does that give you a lot of confidence knowing that kind of offense is coming mm -hmm. up? Yes, it does for sure that you can relax on the mound and not get up tight. You have to hold the other team to zero runs or anything. And then the outfield, I mean, the infield behind you, pretty much three All-Americans there, Melissa Dabman, who has All-American potential. Mm -hmm. What's, is this one of the best infields you think you've had maybe since you've been here? Um, I mean, potentially, yes. I know, I feel like every year we've had an awesome defense. I really do. So, but yeah, they're definitely right up there with everybody. So, yeah. Thank you, Ivy. Thanks, Ivy.